Hi, Dr. Q and Joey Lynn here from Star Nursery. If you haven't done so already, it's time to prune your deciduous shade trees. And because of the hazards of pruning large and older trees, it is always recommended that you hire the services of a certified arborist or tree trimming professionals. So we're going to focus our attention on the young trees with the main purpose to control the form and improve the structural strength of the tree as it grows. The training of young trees should begin early to avoid future problems. The main limbs that make up the framework of the trees are known as scaffold branches. These should be aligned on the trunk in the manner of a spiral staircase, evenly spaced around the trunk. Trees that have grown or are trained in this manner have very sturdy branches that are strongly attached to the trunk. This helps to resist breaking from the wind or from the weight of the branches. While pruning, keep in mind where you want the lowest permanent branch to be located, since these branches stay at the same height as the tree ages. Once a good framework has been established, the pruning is usually limited to what is known as maintenance pruning. This includes the removal of dead, broken, and diseased branches. It also involves the removal of branches that may be crossing or rubbing in the wind or growing too close to other branches. Remove any branches that are crowded within the interior of the tree to open it up for less wind resistance and improve light penetration. Small stems known as suckers can develop at the base of the tree. These should be removed when quite small cutting them as close to the trunk or ground as possible. Water sprouts can also develop up on the scaffold branches. These can grow very fast and very long in one direction, but are very weakly attached and should be removed. Natural target pruning is the process that uses locations naturally produced on branches. If you look closely at branches, you will notice slight bulges located just out from where they are attached to the trunk. This branch collar is where the cut should be located, leaving the smallest diameter of wound possible without leaving a stub. For more information on this topic, get a free copy of our Star Note number 105 on the principles of pruning at starnursery.com or on our free app. And don't forget, we make house calls. Stop by your local Star Nursery location or call 702-771-7827 to make an appointment. Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. I'm Joey Lynn. And I'm Dr. Q, and we'll see you again next week.